in this video, I'm going to do some differentiation of implicit uh, or some implicit differentiation and uh, differentiation of parametric function if possible. So the first question is find dy by dx when you have got this function uh, 3x squared minus 4y squared is equal to 10. Now this is an equation of a hyperbola, so that's not the focus now. So here, what we do is we find use the derivative operator to each of them. So we say, okay, so d by dx of 3x squared minus d by dx of 4y squared is equal to d by dx of 10. So d by dx of 3x squared is <coughs> drop the power down and decrease the power by 1, so that is 6x minus. Now here you have to use the implicit differentiation. So differentiate this as if you are differentiating x squared. So you are differentiating implicitly now, yeah? So first differentiate this, that will give you 8y. And then you have to differentiate y with respect to x. So this is, this is a chain rule basically. So first differentiate this and then you have to differentiate this inside. That's how you can remember. And d by dx of 10 is 0. So this becomes 6x is equal to 8y times dy by dx. So dividing both sides by 8y, you can say 6x over 8y is equal to dy by dx. So which implies you can say dy by dx dividing both by 2, that is 3x over 4y or this is point seven y okay well, that's enough so this is your answer this is your answer leave it as it is okay go on to the next question <coughs> the same principle here but the only difference here you have to use the product rule and implicitly differentiate so here we'll say d by dx of four x y squared minus d by dx of 3y is equal to d by dx of 4x squared. So this becomes, so I'll factor the 4 out 4 times. Now I'm using the chain rule, so we'll say d by dx of, I'm uh, sorry, the product rule, x times y squared plus d by dx of y squared times x plus sorry minus differentiation of 3y is 3 times dy by dx is equal to 8x okay so this becomes 4 times d by dx of x is 1 okay times y squared uh, plus d by dx of y squared is, so differentiate y squared which is 2y times dy by dx times the x there uh, minus 3 times, I'll rewrite the whole thing, is equal to 8x. Now to do a little of simplification here, so this is 4 times y squared plus 2xy times dy by dx minus 3 times dy by dx is equal to 8x. So let me again open the bracket. So this becomes 4y squared plus 8xy times dy by dx minus 3 times dy by dx is equal to 8x. So I'm going to move this to the other side so I can send and factor out dy by dx on this side. So dy by dx times 8xy minus 3 is equal to 8x minus 4y squared. So now dividing both sides by 
plus 8xy minus 3 so divide by dx is ultimately 8x minus 4y squared over 8xy minus 3 so this is your differentiation of this function okay now here this is a parametric function let me make this a bit bigger okay so let me highlight it okay so the question is a curve has been defined or has a parametric equation of x is equal to x is equal to t squared and y is equal to t cubed find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point where t is equal to 2 okay so what we have to do is we've got x is equal to t squared and y is equal to t cubed so well you can say dx by dt is equal to 2t and dy by dt is equal to 3t squared I can say dy by dx is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So dy by dt is 3t squared over 2t, which is 1.5t. So dy by dx is in respect uh, in terms of t is 1.5t. So we can say now what is dy by dt, so dx, when t is equal to 2. So t is equal to 2, it is 1.5 times 2, which is 3. So the gradient at, uh, of this, the gradient of the function at t equal to 2 is 3. So let, I'll show this on a calculator. So I have typed in, this is my x t1 i'll show you how to do it so if you uh, say delete it so i'll go back to uh, uh, yeah table and let me delete it first uh, f1 okay so you what you do is you go to your let me come out of it so when you yeah, table. Okay, so in table xt1, you have to go to type. So this is where you may be. If you want to go to parametric, go to type and parametric. So xt1 is t squared and yt1 is t to the power 3. And then you go to set. So you can go from 0 to 3. You can go to step of 1. So we are interested at 2. At 2, uh, what did we say? That dy by dx, this is y dash. So that's uh, your answer. So this is 3. We have confirmed the answer. Okay, so now what are we supposed to do? We want to find the equation of the tangent at that point. Okay, so let me say, when t is equal to 2, what is my x? So my x is t squared which is 4 and y is 2 cubed which is 8. So you can say at t is equal to 2 your x and y are 4 and 8. Okay so I can say therefore equation of tangent equation of tangent would be y is equal to 3 x plus c now i know that when x is 2 t is equal to 2 when t is equal to 2 x is 4 and y is 8 i'm going to put this into the equation so if i put y is 8 is equal to x was 4 so that is 12 plus c which implies c is equal to negative 4 so my equation is y is equal to 3x plus 3x minus 4 I just want to confirm this on the calculator whether it does make sense so go to your graph and type in you go to type parametric so t squared for xt1 and t cubed for xt yt1 
and then your equation is oh uh, you can't do this okay so let me so the equation is like this so at uh, so let me try so type one uh, say no, yeah so let me type 3x minus 4 in Cartesian form and see whether I can draw yeah here we go so at yeah so yeah point of intersection so the calculator cannot work because you're working with both uh, Cartesian and and you can see yeah this is a point at 2 it's a tangent. Okay, see you in the next.